Over the past 30 years, I've always prided myself in being a, a conservative repair person, not doing too much to the guitar, only what I had to to keep it going, think about what the builders were trying to do, and, and just do what's best for the guitar and for the customer. But every once in a while, I get a really good friend who comes through that needs something special. And in this case, this is true. Junior, a friend of mine from Grand Rapids, needed this guitar to be a cutaway. And in this case, the guitar has had a lot of damage over the years, and it doesn't have any real value anymore, so I agreed to go ahead and do it. Just this one time. I thought it'd be a lot of fun. First, I'll go ahead and remove the parts, get them out of the way, and I'll, I can just tape this pickup up and put it inside the guitar and tape it to the back. That way, I don't have to take the electronics out of the guitar. They're not going to be in the way anyways. Then I can mark where the start and stop portion of the cutaway is going to be and draw it right on the guitar. I simply took a Dremel tool and just cut that cutaway right out. It really doesn't get any prettier than this. How much fun is that? Then I'll go ahead and uh, start bending a piece of wood that's going to uh, form the cutaway itself. I happen to have the same species being right here in Michigan and I just bent it right into place. Then I can mark it with a mechanical pencil and just cut off the excess and start the process of making the cutaway. Then I can start to fit in the kerfing. I'll just mark it with a pencil so that it takes on the form of the cutaway back and I can just tape it into place. That'll hold just fine for this project. I just look through the F-hole to make sure it looks good from the inside and that's good enough. I have to put a little piece on the point so that I can have something to glue to there for the very point of the cutaway, but that can be done simply enough and I'll super glue that into place. And there's the cutaway ready to go. Again, I keep looking through from the F-hole to make sure that it looks good. I'll start to mark where the cutaway is going to hit the top and the back and I can cut it out. I'm going to go ahead and take off some excess wood to form where the binding is going to be on this on the uh, top and the back. There's no sense in doing that later. I'll just mark it with a pencil so I know where it's going to go back to and I'll put a little white glue in there and I can just push it into place tape it there to make sure it doesn't slide around and in this case I just wrapped it with some surgical tubing. I could have done it many different ways but this works just fine. Now next to the neck and on the point of the cutaway I'm going to have to cut the area where the binding is going to be there. I'll just simply cut it with a saw and chisel it out to, to form the binding slot and there we go. Now I'll take some ABS this will match the, uh, the binding that's on the guitar just fine and I can start fitting it and pushing it into place. Super glue is what I'll use here, no acetone based glue. It'll just uh, cause a problem with a cleanup on the finish and, and damage so the super glue is definitely the right choice. I'll just start super gluing the pieces into place. I'll have to come back and do a, a few cuts to fit the binding in but tape will hold it in, in place and then I can clean it up at a later time. There we go, we have a cutaway. I'll just tape off the body, sand it up to a 320 finish, wipe it with a little stain that I mixed up. That's how Gibson would have done this. They would have wiped the stain right into the, uh, into the wood and scrape off the excess and I can spray some clear coats on there. About two or three clear coats, sand it, two or three more, a little bit of yellow, a few more clear coats, and I have a, I have a cutaway. I'll just peel the masking back and it looks pretty darn good, I thought. I can start to reassemble the parts on the guitar and with a little bit of creative checking the cutaway looks really good. It looks like the rest of the guitar. I'm sure this is going to go past a lot of people. The last project is to uh, cut the pit guard back. That was pretty simple. I just marked it and made it look good and I have a cutaway. And as you can see this thing came out great. Boy that was a lot of fun.